Hello guys, welcome back to Tutoring with Abdul. Uh, in today's session, we'll be talking about the NOT AND gate or the NAND gate. Uh, earlier, we talk, earlier this week, we talked about the AND gate and the OR gate. Uh, today, we'll be inverting AND gate. Uh, that means the inverted AND gate is NOT gate. I'm sorry, the NAND gate or NOT AND gate. <clears throat> In digital electronics, the AND gate OR gates and the NOT gates are very famous and important. Uh, other gates can be constructing constructed using AND, OR and NOT gates. Um, combining these three, we'll be talking about combination of gates some, somewhere soon, maybe in a, a couple weeks, maybe if we get to that pace. So what is a NAND gate? NAND gate is a NOT AND gate or inverted AND function that means for AND gate, we need all inputs to be high in order to have an output high. But in NAND gate, in order to have an output high, we should have at least one input low. So what is that saying here? Like, let's say, for example, we have that AND gate right there. I hope I draw it right. Okay, A and B inputs. C is my output. For in order to have C high, we should have a for AND gate. This is AND gate. We should have a output input A and B both high to get output C high. Anywhere input A and or input B or both are low, the output C will be low. But this is not the case in NAND gate. So for example, this is my NAND gate. Got input A, input B got inverted dot and C. We said for AND gate to, in order to have output C high, we should have input B and A both high. If we have input B and A both high in NAND gate, the output C will be low. <clears throat> so that is a unique condition of uh, NAND gate. When the both inputs are, all inputs are high, the output will be low. But if you have one input high and one input low, the output will be high because inverted of an AND gate, when one input is high and another input is low, in AND gate, the output will be low. But if you invert it, that output low, that will become output high in an AND gate. We'll explain, that's what it, the statement means there. So well, let's move around. Uh, move uh, on and talk about the symbol of an AND gate. The symbol of NAND gate is the AND gate and the AND one inverted bubble added to the output side of the AND gate. So there, uh, take that bubble out of there, that's an AND gate, but we added a bubble after that uh, a symbol and that output is going from that bubble is called a NAND gate symbol. So where my A and B our inputs that that is our inverted dot sorry inverted bubble c is our output boolean expression for an end gate uh, we talked about the end gate earlier this week uh, the boolean expression of AND gate was um, if we have an AND, AND gate the expression for the AND gate is A dotted B it's dot actually A input A ended input B is, give, is giving me output of C or same as AB just e simply AB is equal to C so that was our expression for the boolean expression for the NAND I'm sorry the AND gate this AND gate will be AND gate but for the NAND gate we use the same uh, dotted function same dotted multiplication uh, multiplication dot but we invert it with a bar above that so if you add a bar right here that will become a NAND gate because it's AND but that bar mean NOT so it's not AND gate will become NAND gate, not AND gate. So that's an 
NAND is just like that. First, N is not AND gate. Okay, for NAND gate, it is an inverted bar above the Boolean expression of AND gate. <coughs> for this one, so in order to have the uh, this one, you can write it down as a, a dotted B, A and it B. I'm sorry, yeah, A and it B will give me output of C. But since it's a NANDed gate, we will put a bar there above that will become not AND gate. We can simply say that here AB not is same as NAND AB gate with a input AB, that's our input side. Left side is our input, out, uh, right side is our output. Or we can simply say that A, B in parentheses and we invert it with a comma and they'll become a inverted, uh, inverted AND gate will become A, B inverted or not is equal to C. Okay, um, these two symbols are the same here. This is, let's call this one and this number two this is a same situation here and we have two inputs coming in we have an output going here so let's see right there this is our AND gate A and B A and B inputs but that dot means this is your inverter so whatever is coming out of the AND gate is inverting by this inverted inverter and will give us this function here A named it B so that dot here is same as here for that inverter so that means the signal or the output of that AND gate is in inverted and become a NANDED output a NANDED function okay so now we're talking about the almost the end of this session we will talk about the truth table of the NAND gate we have a NAND gate, two input NAND gate with one output. We have a resistor here. We have a LED, LED light, and we have a connected to the ground. In order for, for LED to be lit up, we have we should we should at least we should or we must have a resistor in the circuit to power up that LED. Uh, just for. Uh, FYI for you guys if you have to work with multi-sim which I'll be bringing multi-sim um, I'll be bringing these logic gates to multi-sim to show you guys what it I means actual uh, Simulation of the logic gates in the multi-sim and then we'll be talking about I'll bring those logic gates to the Breadboard and then I will show how that can be wired up there. So please stick around and do not forget to subscribe this channel Okay, so this is our NAND gate, NAND gate with two inputs and we have output as a resistor and LED going to the ground connecting. In order for this light to be on, uh, we have condition. Any condition that we had uh, where we had an output low in AND gate, uh, in NAND gate the output will be high there. So in AND gate, our output was low. If both inputs were low, or one of the input was low so we have three conditions so we have in NAND gate we will have our output with two inputs our, our output will be high in three places will be only off in one place because it's just direct in in word of the AND gate in AND gate the output is only high when the inputs are high and that is our only condition in NAND gate the output will be only low if the inputs are high okay so let's talk about them if input B is low and input A is low so the output C in AND gate will be low but in NAND gate will be high because it's inverted of AND gate okay condition number two if input B is high or one and input A is low this condition, if you if you would present it that in the AND gate, the output would be low. Since the NAND gate is inverted of uh, inverted gate of AND gate, it, in this condition, the output will be high. Now, if you have a output, I'm um, sorry, input B low, but input A high, uh, the output will be high because it's inverted AND gate. 
the unique condition of this gate is when the input the both inputs are high the output will be low if let input a is high input b is high also input b and input a both high the output will be low because in a and gate we had input one a and b both high the output would be high since it's inverted output was high in and gate there will be output low in NAND gate so that's how we draw our uh, or make our truth table we have to go to our original gate which is AND gate and we will invert that signal from there see like just to make it quicker and will not require a lot of thinking there if you remember the AND gate truth table for two uh, two inputs it'll be easier for NAND gates too alrighty so now moving on to the uh, question what is the unique output of NAND gate function now we just talked about that that will be the output will be low only when all inputs are high like here this is a unique condition unique situation of the NAND gate all the inputs are high but the output is low because the signal is inverted Okay, we didn't talk about um, how we say that in English. Uh, how we did do say like that, that expression in English. <clears throat> then in English we said that A input A is NANDed with input B to yield output C. That will be the English word, the wording of an English language. We talked about how to write this is our Boolean expression. To say in English is this one, and this is our truth table expression here. Let's... Uh, Let's draw a, a quick uh, three inputs NAND gate and do a truth table for that. Let's change the color. Let's make it blue. Okay, there is a AND gate. Hopefully I draw it right because I mostly forget. Okay, there we go. Input A, input B, input C. So A, B, C. Oops, sorry. Inverted bubble. And that will be my output. Uh, make it D. Okay. So we have three inputs. The possibilities of um, uh, the truth table will be 8. It will be 2 to the power of 3. Uh, now let's see. The truth table, we will draw a line there. So 1... Make it a little bit longer so we can fit in there. There we go. That is our output D. I'll make it A. I'll make it this way. A, B, C. All right, so we have a, a conditions here. If input a is low input b is low input c is low if all these three inputs are low the output will be high because we said that it's inverted of a and function and gate so if that was low in if the three inputs in and gates or all the inputs are low in and gate the output will be low but since it's inverted of and gate the output will be output will be high now let's see the input uh, a is high and input b is low input c is low the output will be still high well now if the input a is low the input b is high input c is low the output will be still high the output will be high all the places in NAND gate except when the uh, when all the inputs are high the output will be low so the output will be high regardless it will be high here if this is high i'm sorry if input a is low input b is low input c is high the output will be still high okay so if the input a is high input b is low and input c is high the output d should be still high but let's say input a is low input b is high 
input c is high the output will be still high because so we said it will be input uh, output will be high well and when one or all the inputs are low okay let's go and check out the last one so we got one two three four five six condition we might have one more i think i'm missing one so one that's two yes i am missing one right there okay so the last condition here will be if all inputs are high a is high b is high and c is high the output will be low uh, let me move these thing around so that's one two i'm missing output number three input number three okay so that means if input a is high input b is high and, and input c is low the output still be still high now the input a is low input b is low input c is high the output should be still high now the input one is high a is high input b is low input c is high the output will be still high now if input one is high okay input a is high we already had that high input a is low input b is high input c is high the output will be still high okay now to see the input okay so we got them input a is high input b is high input c is high the output will be low so this is our unique condition when all the inputs are high the output will be zero alrighty so hopefully that wasn't too bad uh, to practice please it requires a lot of practice go ahead and do more practice of truth tables try to draw four inputs uh, uh, logic NAND gate and we'll give you a lot of practice try to do AND in NAND gate whatever you get an AND gate answer just invert those output it will give you the NAND gate all right guys uh, if you have any comment and question please submit that in uh, comment section of this video uh, i'll see you next time with the next lecture and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and be safe